Now for schizophrenia. For the pathophysiology, this includes an abnormal, scattered pattern of thinking for about six months or more. It often starts to affect relationships as well as school and workflow as clients cannot concentrate. So the memory trick, think of the three S's. S for schizophrenia, S for scattered pattern of thinking, and S for suicide risk that is high. Now for the causes and risk factors, genetics plays a huge role. So if a parent has schizophrenia, then the children are more likely to have it too. And it's thought to be caused by a decrease in dopamine within the brain. Now for the signs and symptoms, this varies from patient to patient, but there are three main categories to know for your exams. Number one is positive symptoms. This is known as psychotic symptoms. So the big ones to write down, hallucinations, delusions, and thought disturbance. The second big category is negative symptoms, or a negative state, where the client shows lack of emotions and facial expressions. And the third is cognitive symptoms, or capacity of memory. Clients have difficulty understanding and learning new things. So let's dive in and break these down one by one. First up is positive symptoms. Think P for positive symptoms as P for psychotic symptoms. So hallucinations. This is where clients hear or see things that are not there, like voices in their head or seeing objects. Now there are tactile hallucinations where we have a sensation of being touched. Second is auditory hallucinations. Clients start hearing voices and sounds that are not there. So the best action by the staff is to provide earphones and music. Huge NCLEX tip, be sure to write this down. Or even watching TV, which makes it easier to ignore the internal sounds, as it can take a while for the antipsychotic medications to kick in. So don't get tricked here. Audio stimulation is best for the voices in the head, not reading a book or even simply just telling the client to ignore it. So Hesse mentions hearing voices that tell him or her to stay home. These are positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Now delusions, these are false beliefs that the client feels very strongly about. And they won't change their mind even though they know it's false. For example, delusions of reference. This song has a secret message just for me. Big NCLEX tip. So clients will state this feeling that songs or even TV shows or news articles are a personal message to them. And delusions of control, a client might state, I do not go online. That's how the FBI controls you. Or delusions of grandeur. I have a very important meeting with the queen today. And lastly, persecutory or paranoid delusions. The hospital food is trying to poison me. Now you can agree that the hospital food isn't that great, but the client believes that they're being persecuted. For example, being poisoned, followed, attacked, or even spied on. So Hesse mentions schizophrenia, positive symptom, delusions. And very lastly, disorganized speech and thought is our third positive symptom category. So let's identify and recognize the different types of thought disturbances. Number one is loose associations. We have flight of ideas, basically a rapid shift of thought with no logical connection. Big NCLEX tip, so write these next ones down. The universe is like a raisin, but the moon is a home and I rode my bike. You see, there's no logical connection and we're just jumping from idea to idea. And Saunders mentions, glass breaks if you throw stones. My cousin shoots guns. I live in glass houses. Now, number two is neologisms, made up imaginary words. For example, Hesse mentions, I have to get away. The vomers are coming to execute me. You see, vomers is a made up word. Number three is clang associations, listing rhyming words together that make no sense. For example, let's go to the bay. Let's hit the hay. What do you say? We can go today. All these words rhyme together, but don't make any sense. And number four is the word salad, mixing words together that have no meaning except to the client. Here is the chair, moon orange, drank too much. You see, all the words are mixed together kind of like a salad. So hence the name word salad. Now number five is concrete thinking. 
taking a statement literally. So for example, the grass is greener on the other side. Or you might have even heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, the clients think that there's actual grass or that there's actual eggs. And number six is tangentiality. Speaking of unrelated topics that do not correlate to the main discussion. So the nurse asks, how do you sleep? And the client says, when I was five, my cat was killed. I love dogs. You see, these are unrelated topics. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.